Well, some businesses have chosen to leave downtown Portland because of crime and other pandemic impacts. But others are moving in, hoping to revive the feeling of community and safety. That's the purpose of a new beer garden and food truck pod that's opening today. Organizers say they want to change the negative perceptions of the downtown area. Fox 12's Carly Olson is live at the brand new Midtown Beer Garden. Carly, sounds like a great change. Absolutely, Anna. Yeah, the Midtown Beer Garden just opened at 3 p.m. today. We just got here about 15 minutes ago, and already the crowds are growing in number. And you can hear the music in the air just setting the tone for this. And, of course, folks are taking the chance to enjoy some food carts, both new and old, to check those out. And folks we spoke with today told us that taking initiative to create spaces like this is the first step to restoring that sense of community. The gates are open. Hey, yo, hey, one, yo, two, one, two, one, two. The stage is set. There's no better time than now. The brand new Midtown Beer Garden sits on the lot of the former Fifth Avenue food cart pod, a casualty of the pandemic. We decided that, hey, let's 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 step in, let's try to make it better for the carts that are that made it through all this BS of COVID. And then also let's bring some new carts on and let's make it the biggest and best food cart pod downtown. A tall order as businesses large and small from REI to coffee shops have cited crime and lack of safety as the reason they pulled out of downtown. Just the opportunity to kind of revive Portland in a sense. Jin Park has worked in the local food cart scene for more than 15 years and he says he's witnessed so many of his fellow business owners take a hit. Uh, as you probably already know, there's a lot of food carts pretty much shutting down right now. Currently, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, due to all the violence with, that's happening within Portland. Those problems and dwindling businesses have made it hard to bounce back from the pandemic, with a study from the Portland Metro Chamber revealing that downtown foot traffic is still down by 40% from pre pandemic levels. The foot traffic in downtown today told us additions like this food cart pod give them hope. It has to. I mean, it's, it, it's necessary. It's great. It's fabulous. Portland's not going to recover unless people take a stand and say we're taking the city back. I just feel like recent years, the downtown area has just got kind of gloomy in a lot of places, and it's not as, like, you don't feel as safe to come down just kind of from the the people talking about Portland. But then really, if you come down, you see places like this, and it's not as bad as what people are saying at all. Cleaning up a corner for community, music, and food is the immediate goal. But long term, organizers hope the space will make a statement about what downtown Portland can be again. And I think this is one of the one of the standing ground of where it can start to bring back people into the city once more that it's safe. It's actually safe. You can enjoy your stay here within the city limits instead of being afraid and being worried to watch your back all the time. <laughs> This grand, opening, this grand opening features about 20 food carts, but organizers tell me they plan to add about five more in the coming months. And this evening, they're welcoming some local Portland artists to the stage, including the last Artful Dodger, and the party runs until 8 p.m., so make sure to come down and check it out. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Carly Olson, Fox 12, Oregon. The 5 o'clock news is just getting started.